from around the globe. It's the Cube, covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Rather than all getting together in one place like Vegas, we're getting to talk to people around the globe where they are. Uh, digging into some of the partner discussions here, happy to welcome to the program Ricardo de Blasio. He is the Chief Revenue Officer from Commvault. Ricardo, thanks so much for joining us. Great to see you. Hello, Stu. Great to be here. Excellent. Uh, so, you know, obviously HPE Discover, uh, Commvault, and HPE. Why don't you give us the, the latest on, on the partner? Absolutely. Well, first of all, I would like to thank you, uh, HPE, the old team, uh, not only for this invitation, but for the great partnership that we have uh, since actually many, many years. Well, things are going really, really well uh, with HPE. Uh, we're very happy, we're very proud. I mean, if, you know, I'm a chief revenue officer, so my title uh, said it all. You know, if I look at the performances of our alliances in the last uh, 18 months, uh, it's been a double digit grow and in some quarter, even a triple digit grow. So, uh, our relationship and engagement into the field are growing uh, on a weekly basis, and uh, the amount of opportunity that we have in our uh, forecast and in our pipeline with HPE are uh, growing more and more and more. And um, we, I, I believe we've found still a good yin and yang between uh, the two companies, us being the leader of data protection in the market and uh, in conjunction with one of the largest uh, server infrastructure uh, um, service vendor service provider like HPE you know if you think about it one of the the the, the highest success that we are experiencing right now is is Commvault through Green Lake as a backup as a service right so so many angle our partnership uh, it's working and uh, we just feel we are scratching really the, the tip of the iceberg and uh, the best is yet to come. So super excited to be here, super excited for what, what's ahead of us. All right, Ricardo. Well, last year, and we, we've had the cube at Commvault Go uh, for a couple of years, a uh, lot of discussion about the various consumption models, especially how you know, cloud is fitting into things, uh, whether it be you know, public cloud and backing up data or uh, you know, SaaS models, uh, you know, obviously metallic, uh, was the you know star of the show at Commvault Go last year. You mentioned uh, the GreenLake offerings uh, that you're doing with HPE to give backups as a service. So bring us inside. You know what you're hearing from your customers, uh, how they are you know managing uh, the, these various uh, cloud offerings. Totally, Stu. Well, um, I mean, as you know, I mean the the, the adoption into uh, cloud native apps uh, or uh, moving workloads into uh, cloud models, uh, it is something that has been around for the last 10 years. Obviously, what the current situation uh, is producing is a triggering event to really move into a light speed uh, um, transformation and adoption uh, of any type of cloud models. And uh, we believe as a backup and data protection provider, um, we are uh, in the middle of it, experiencing a lot of benefit. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if you look at our metallic offering, uh, one of our blockbuster is backing up Office 365, which is a cloud native app. After that, we got Salesforce, or we got ServiceNow, and so on, right? Before to move into more traditional uh, endpoint data management like laptop uh, or uh, M2M like mobile phone. Uh, but even if I look, you know, from, a, from an angle of our partnership with HPE, what I see most of the grow and opportunity has been on the Green Lake platform. Um, a lot of the opportunity that we have in our pipe that has been built in the last six months, what I see a lot of potential to do business together. 80% um, of them is with Green Lakes. There's always Green Lakes in the middle. Excellent. Uh, yeah. What What are you hearing so much from customers? Uh, you know, with your you're the chief revenue officer. So is is it the move? Uh, from CapEx to OpEx, you know, bring us inside a little bit the, the finance side and what you're hearing from customers as to how they get ready. Obviously, 
with the global pandemic, uh, it even puts more of a highlight on those cloud models. Um, if I've done things right, I should be able to either you know, scale up if needed, or if I need to dial things down for a little while, uh, hopefully I haven't locked myself into some environment. So I'd uh, love to hear uh, a little bit more color from you on, on that piece of it. Absolutely, I, I believe you nail it, Stu. I mean, uh, there's definitely an operational uh, driver behind, which is uh, how can I scale up or down my data center without having the possibility to have people on the ground? Uh, and so how can I move into a virtual data center uh, where I have computing, uh, storage, uh, networking uh, that can follow my peak of uh, IO according to my business need? Then this the other angle uh, in the current crisis, um, company often are uh, not run, but CFO becomes more important. And um, there's a huge uh, attention to cost and uh, and everything that can be moved from uh, a perpetual into a radical uh, cost, and therefore cloud has a better fit for that. And um, and then last but not least is also you know the the better integration that a lot of uh, cloud models provide you with the cloud native apps, right? I mean, um, can you run Salesforce on prem? <laughs> not really, right? So. Uh, how can you have uh, a dashboard uh, of different business application and operational application that are uh, better integrated with the cloud native apps? So the more uh, you can offer your client, i.e. Green Lakes or Metallic or Commvault, uh, a cloud native services that is uh, um, naturally integrated uh, with the current cloud native apps, uh, uh, the more you're going to make their life easier. Excellent, uh, so Ricardo. You know, Commvault works with many partners. What what makes the the HPE partnership special? So, I think you know what I said earlier. Definitely, I would say the first thing is uh, um, a market segmentation towards enterprise. Uh, we are experiencing a lot of success with our enterprise client. You know, if, you, if I look at the, the, the joint pipeline that we built together. I would say 90% of the clients are global 2000 uh, customers logo. And uh, so that is definitely one number. Number two is, you know, how much work we did collectively in integrating uh, our product line and platform together. So if you look, you know, the Convo complete solution and very soon also Metallic, but even Edvig that has been done a lot of effort on that side. They are uh, natively integrated uh, with OpenAPI so that our client really will not feel uh, the difference of having two different sil silos solution. And, uh, and then last but not least, uh, the same strategic goal and view of pushing uh, cloud-based model and radable model, uh, uh, GreenLake for uh, HPE and uh, Metallic and Edvig uh, uh, for Convolt. Excellent. Uh, so, you know, you, you mentioned, uh, you know, some of the shifting models to some, some of the newer solutions. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, integrations, partnerships take a little bit of time, but, you know, give us a little bit, what, what should we be expecting from, you know, Commvault and the partnership with HPE uh, through the rest of 2020? Absolutely, Stu. Well, um, definitely an acceleration. You know, we took the decision at Commvault to, uh, focus on uh, fewer partners, but very relevant to us. Uh, we're very happy to say that HPE is one of them. And um, we want to do more uh, from a product integration perspective. So the next one in line will be Metallic and uh, how the Metallic play and integration will play into Green Lakes and into a lot of uh, HPE uh, product. Um, but also we want to do more with our field engagement, right? So now we have weekly or monthly quarterly uh weekly engagement with our with our two fields organization uh just in order to better serve our clients uh, and often do business with the same channel partners that we have in our ecosystem excellent oh well, ricardo thank you so much for joining us We're really a pleasure to talk Thank you, thank you, Stu, and thank you, HPE, for the great partnership and opportunity. 
All right, lots more coverage from the Cube HPE Discover Virtual Experience. I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for watching the Cube. Thank you.